Today we're going to show you how to make a uh, RC lab counter for under 20 bucks. Alright, so we picked up this toolkit at Walmart. Three dollars. Pretty good deal. First thing you're going to do, take your camera, turn it on, place it in the box, And now what you're going to do is, you're going to look on the back screen, and you're going to take your marker, and you're just going to draw a small box inside where you can see on the camera. Okay. Move the camera. There's our box. Now we're just going to check one more time to make sure that the camera. Alright, perfect. We're going to just put a dot where the camera should be on each end. This is going to be important, so make sure you get it right. Okay. Now, just using light and drawing based on shadow, we have the exact perimeters from inside the box, while well, the box inside the box. And there's the outside of the box. And now, Dremel. But, before that, remember those two dots we put on the inside of the box? Well, now they're going to be very important. So you're going to need some Velcro for this part of the project. So what we already did is, took some one kind of the Velcro and put it on the bottom of our camera, making sure that we didn't close off the doors or the tripod mount, because you're still going to want to use this camera. Well, in our case, yeah. So we're going to take... I'm going to take a strip of Velcro just about the same length. Well, you couldn't go a little bit longer. And we're going to cut that right to the end. Okay. I'm just going to peel this part off, and there's the sticky part. So, we take our box. We're going to put the camera in, place it down, pull it back out, and just get the Velcro, and there we go. Now, it isn't going to move if you tip it, but if you shake it, it will. As when using any power tool, always use safety goggles. Okay, now that we've gotten the hole cut, I'm going to go ahead and sand it down. Finished product. Join us next time for part two, how the whole thing works.